Hi, Air Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your November general love reading for all the Air Signs. We are starting with Gemini, then Libra, then Aquarius. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, please visit my website, moonpietarot.com, and you can book your reading from me there. I'm still running the special for how the other person feels about you. And if you instead have an iPhone, you can go to your app store and look for the app Instant Go. Download the app, look for me, Moon Pie Tarot, and then you can send me a message and I will respond to you within 24 hours. So basically, if you have a question or something that you need to know or like to ask, you can just ask me there and you don't have to wait a week for a reading. For some of you, if you have the iPhone and look for the app and you can't find it, it may not be available in your country just yet. Sit tight, it will be out soon. Uh, not available for Android and on other platforms at this time. Okay, so we're going to start with Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I've changed the platform a little bit for, well, a lot for November's reading. Um, so I just want to be able to get these out as soon as I can. Okay, so this is for those of you who are who have someone else or are single or you have someone else on your mind you can go either way so just listen for the messages Let's see if you can uh, resonate with anything here okay and do want to wish the Libras uh, a belated ha happy birthday And for any of you Scorpios who are cross-watching, also for you. <laughs> for some reason, I kept thinking we were in Libra season, and uh, no, now we're in Scorpio season, so that's why I brought that up. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you. Hello, Ace of Cups. Strength. My cards are all upside down. Three of Rods. And the Hermit. Okay. Let's take a look first at your overall energy for the month of November. So. Gemini, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. Uh, you know, the Eight of Swords generally means that um, uh, it describes a, someone who's what they call a self-imposed prisoner or someone who uh, is just trapped by their own thoughts all the time. But I tend to see very positive outcome with this card because usually in tarot, some of the decks this person here is not showing it's just this but because she's here whether you're male or female the reality is this this is really who you are you're fine but this is how you're viewing yourself as being either trapped or maybe not good enough for someone or something or deserving not feeling deserving but these are your thoughts and it's so incredible how our thoughts can dictate our outside circumstances you know when we are always uh, you know if you have negative thinking it's really important to practice positive thinking because you can actually change things around in your brain right so when you get a negative thought you see this is very yin and yang for me this is very balanced you need to have both of these in order to work together so 
when you have a negative thought about yourself or about a situation in your love life or, or if you have a lack of a love life and that's causing you to feel this way always balance that out with remembering who you are okay she has a sword in her hand here and she decides whether or not she wants to trap herself by her surrounding thoughts you know you her holding the sword means you hold the key you're the one in control of this these swords sometimes this can be someone who plays that victim role where she stands here and he or she and it's just like oh all these swords just suddenly appeared and I'm trapped no they're your thoughts you own them you belong to them they belong to you because people can say things to you it's your decision whether you want to hold on to their words or not and the swords represent our thoughts so the the energy for the month of November is for you to make a decision if you're gonna keep yourself trapped in your negative thinking if you have that or if you're going to decide to be in control and remove these sorts right so this really is uh, it's very spiritual for you during this time if you're single and you're feeling like you don't deserve love or no one will love you or someone has said things to you that cut and hurt you can remove those thoughts you can keep yourself from pr playing look at this this white it's like tape keep yourself from playing these tapes over and over in your head cut them free during this time find that positive energy about who you are and then focus on those things you know if some of you have come out of a relationship that really wounded you or hurt you uh, you don't have to stay there anymore that's your choice right so very deep you're starting off with the ace of cups you know this is sometime happening in November you've got if you haven't already met someone who's wonderful you will be okay uh, or there's some type of a uh, letting go of this energy will bring this energy a new beginning a new potential a new key emotional development developments your work in progress Gemini so developing your emotions uh, birthing new things gaining confidence becoming stronger some of you may be dealing with a Leo uh, or it's just someone there could be a Leo in, in your life or coming into your life who's very uplifting for you and that's a beautiful match uh, or this is just your energy where you know you finally tame that beast within you start loving yourself now some of you could have uh, a Virgo coming in new um, or you could be currently involved with one some of you may be waiting for Virgo to return or to come into your life again or some of you may have been dealing with one who was uh, very you know non uh, not available okay and you could be actually taking a look at that now if this is someone you are involved with currently you could be actually seeing that their lack of emotional availability has affected you um, and maybe caused a self-esteem issue with you but I feel like you're coming out of that now because this is the potential here for you to love yourself again or to actually see how this person is it could also just be that you're making progress in how you feel deep within about yourself or you're really starting to take a look at maybe the effects that another person have had on you 
or you're taking a look at the effect that someone does have on you currently and maybe this relationship will be getting stronger now uh, because you know Gemini you may have been in this energy where you've been and I don't want to offend you but I do like to give the truth of the message that comes to me you may have been in this energy where you've been playing victim for a long time and as I said you may have been acting as if these swords have just appeared and really not just looking at the fact that you've put them there no matter what other people do outside of you and people who are in your environment do you still have the power to control what you will and will not accept and if you haven't been doing that and taking being accountable for your emotions and your thoughts and your actions then uh, there's only one other person to blame and you may have been putting the blame on someone else and so maybe now here's the world you're closing that chapter you're ending doing this now you're actually and you know it's funny because Gemini's are very realistic you know but you know you, you could have other uh, strong other signs in different planets that could be overruling things and this message may not be for all of you but for some of you you know I feel because you cut to the truth of the matter most of the time I think that during this time you may quickly realize as you usually do that uh, yeah that may maybe uh, maybe I'm playing a role in this as well maybe it's not just the other person either way you're gaining some strength And there could be someone, as I was saying, this this hermit card. The hermit goes into he goes into deep reflection, but he doesn't isolate himself, you know. And Gemini, you're very aware of your thoughts. You can see the truth of things very easily. You're no dummy, that's for sure. So you have this ability to uh, pull back, take a look at things, really take a, a reality check about a relationship or just about your love life in general and, and say well you know maybe things haven't if you're single maybe things haven't been going the way you wanted them to because you've been trapping yourself in negativity or negative thoughts and now you're coming out of that and there's new love coming for you and even in a relationship with someone there's a new beginning happening because of you letting go and, and beginning to turn that energy around and you know there's this law of attraction thing you know what you believe will come to you now it's it's not that you have to sit there and, and say okay well uh, you know I want a brand new house and then all of a sudden it magically appears it doesn't work that way the law of attraction is about uh, taking positive steps to towards your goals Okay, so if, for instance, you want a new house or you want a certain something with a certain person, um, taking steps to achieve those things, does that mean you're going to get it? Not necessarily, but positivity, when you think along those lines, opens the door for all kinds of things to come into your life. And even you may have been selling yourself short about what you think you want with someone. You may, in, in your releasing these these swords and these bandages or this negative tapes that have been going around in your head changing that around may actually bring much more abundance than what you thought you wanted and I feel like that's going to happen for you in November it's, for, it's a very positive reading <coughs> excuse me <coughs> always have to clear my throat okay Gemini so now <coughs> we're going to move on to Libra Okay, Libra. Hi, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. And this is your general love reading for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2017. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, please go to my website, moonpietarot.com or download the Instant Go app from your iPhone and you can request a reading 
from me through there and I will respond within 24 hours much better than waiting a week for a reading um, because it's instant okay Libra what's going on for you for your love life singles and couples for November 2017 kind of feel like I want to shift these cards around. And this one wants to come out for sure. Okay, you're starting with the Four of Swords. What's up, Libra? The Nine of Swords. <clears throat> oh, judgment. This could be a return. Three of Pentacles. And your overall energy, you have the Fool. Well, Libra, I feel like this, this month will be a month for you to just leave it be. Let it go. Stop trying to control things. Let the energy just flow. Take a risk. Don't worry about things. Don't overthink. Uh, don't overanalyze. Don't chew the heck out of that bone. Just pack up your stuff and go. Some of you may be wanting to take a trip or venture out somewhere unknown. Throw your cares to the wind. If, if that's something you've been wanting to do, November is the time to do it. Usually there's a dog down here and he's chewing at his pant leg, trying to warn him of the risk. You know, people will do that, but if there's, the, if there's an, a feeling for you that you need to just do something and not think about it, look, his face he's just like I don't even care I'm just going and he's about to he could possibly fall or step off that cliff but he might not that's the thing about risk you just never know how it's gonna go right your parachute could open or your parachute could close but if you never take that risk your parachute will always be closed at least you have a shot. So I think you're in this place in November where you're just like, you may have gone through some kind of a heartbreak um, in the past, and now you're like in healing mode. You're just, you're coming out of something from the past. <clears throat> and some people are helping you, you know, I mean, I don't really feel like you're going to be bedridden all month. Some of you may have had some physical issues happening. Um, this is a recovery card. This is a healing card. So you're in that place now where you're just like, ah, I'm beat. I just need to take a little break before I jump. <laughs> you know, so you are... Um, I'm getting the message because the judgment card is here. There could be someone returning from your past um, who's coming in to help you with something and give you maybe some inspiration and help you heal because you've got this, you know, stressful energy here with this knight, uh, nine of swords. You know, uh, this card looks very negative, but... It's like the Eight of Swords that I just read for Gemini, where Gemini was trapped by their thoughts, negative thinking, and, you know, uh, this Nine of Swords card to me is something, something you, you're having difficulty healing from something. That's what I'm seeing uh, for the month of November. But 
it's like not going to last because I don't feel like you're the type of person that is just going to stay in bed all month. You're just not like that. I see you. You know, the judgment card is also about reconciliation. So I really see you coming to terms with things that have happened in the past and now coming out into the open, out into the light. This is, resembles the death card in my uh, deck. And this card also, uh, uh, this angel is the Scorpio angel. So some of you um, may be reconciling with the Scorpio, or some of you are, uh, maybe you've lost a Scorpio in your past, and you are uh, connecting with them spiritually of some sort, or they're, you know, coming back for some. Uh, this person may be waiting for you. Maybe they've been waiting for you to get some things straight within your your mind because these are thoughts it could be that person coming back to help you with something now if it's not a Scorpio um, I just feel like you um, could be reconciling with someone some of you could be Aquarius but I just see a change here you're coming out of this see how dark well, I know you've got the light glare here, but you can see this card's very dark. It's n at night, you know, this card. This is your day. And this is your night, you know. Ugh. But you're not staying there. Because then you've got a new day coming. A new dawn. And this time you're going to walk out. And you're just going to take that, that leap. Right? And uh, I saw the Empress underneath here. So this is also a new beginning for you. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. So, okay, this is kind of like, you know, starting something new, a new skill, learning something new, trying something new. Whatever you're leaping off into, into your life, whatever you're starting over with, because the Fool card is always... This, this is the zero. This is the beginning. This is the first card in the tarot deck, the major arcana. This is starts the cycle. You're starting a new cycle. You're starting over. And you're actually going to put yourself and get to work and, and do what it is that you need to do to make things right in your life, either with someone from your past, either coming back to them or walking away from them. <coughs> Or even if they do come back and you try to have a relationship with them again, you're not going to be the same because now you have this devil may care attitude because now you're not going to stress anymore about it. You know, you've found or you will be finding your footing. You will be finding your freedom in November. Whatever may have happened from the past, it's healing. And even though it's going to take a little bit of time, while you're healing, you're also adventuring. You're going, so this really just tells me that someone, I feel like someone's going to help you through this process and give you a new outlook on life, help you see a new outlook and help you start over. Uh, not start over uh, in the sense that you're going to end a relationship with someone and start anew, but that you're going to start over in your thinking, changing your thoughts, thinking more positively, uh, taking a chance. So even if you are staying involved with someone, some of you may be wanting to um, birth have give birth or wanting to have a baby or something like that maybe there was maybe you couldn't or there was a difficulty in conceiving in the past and it was frustrating and painful but you may get a new blessing about that during this time 
some the threes are always about communication so there could be communication about you know having a new start um maybe a different way to conceive uh there could be that it's really interesting there's a lot of messages coming through for me and i'm going to um just put it to rest here and if you have uh if, if this resonates for you and you would like more clarity on this situation again please just visit my website moonpietarot.com and i'll be able to see if we can figure out what's going on more in depth okay libra so now we're going to move on to Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the month of November 2017. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. <coughs> if this reading resonates for you, great. If it doesn't, check your other signs to see if you can uh, tie things in together or get more information. If you would like a personal reading, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com. Or if you would like to reach me and get an instant reply for a question that you may have, you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. You must have iPhone to do it. Once you download the app, look for Moon Pie Tarot, and then I'll be able to, uh, you can ask me a question there and I'll be able to respond within 24 hours. If you try to find it through your iPhone and you can't, it may just not be available in your country yet. It's okay, it will be out soon. If you can't find it, just send me a message and we'll get a reading going for you. You can book one. Okay, Aquarius, so what are the energies for Aquarius for their love lives? For the month of November 2017. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, Four of Cups. Can you see it? My camera doesn't like to focus. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Rods. Ace of Swords. So, at the bottom of the deck, oh, <laughs> all right, so I guess they want me to tell you both of these. So, you've got the King of Rods, okay. Uh, so, some of you are dealing with a, a fire sign, or there is a fire sign energy being significant in the month of November. So, that can be... Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, male or female, because this is a general reading. So we'll start here. This person, and this is a person, could be older than you. Uh, well, someone in the 40s or 50s. This person is uh, a bit commanding, not demanding, because I feel like if they were in the reverse, they would be demanding and terribly bossy and arrogant but in the upright you know look this person's got that leadership ability and they walk proud and confident waving that flag they go out into the world and they go after what they want they have direction they're very passionate which resembles all this red energy um, they're forthright they're above board um, very in, they can be intense passionately intense mm, good communicators but they more so communicate through their actions so in other words they're not going to sit and tell you all day <coughs> what they're going to do they just do it and that's how you know that uh, 
that's how you recognize them. Not so much by what they say, but what they show you. Okay. And this person, uh, well, not really this, it could be, it could be the, per the energy of this person it could be that they just have so many dreams and plans and ideas and temptations and, and, and so wishes and things that they're trying to manifest or hoping that will come to them. Um, but this is also you and your, oh, not you, but your energy. Okay. You have a lot of this going on too, as well, you know, where you are trying to see if you can get all of your cups filled, right? You may, uh, you and this person, I may have like, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, may have a lot of, um, projects or things that you're working on either together or just you're two separate people. And uh, you're like, oh, yes, come on, come on. I want to see the fruits of my labor, that kind of thing with the seven of cups. But it gives you emotional fulfillment. You know, that's what you're. So for all the things that are that is happening in your life currently or whatever uh, you have your fingers in, things that you have your fingers in, you just want these things to manifest that will give you satisfaction, emotional satisfaction, dreams, projects, ideas, things like that. And um, some of the, those things could have something to do with this person, this fire sign person. Now, this does not have to be a fire sign. This can be male or female, but this is a love reading. Um, so, you know, it really just depends on your sexual orientation and also your situation. So you f you'll figure it out. I'm just giving you the message. But it could have something to do with this person, whomever they are to you. Okay. And again, if they're not a fire sign, they do have that fiery passionate energy okay so let's go on with the rest of your reading now you are um <clears throat> i see you yeah so there's a lot of yellow showing up here except except for this okay so i was going to say and i just saw this so you know, this, this could have some, and then, and I don't usually pull all these darn cards, but this, this, this is definitely, uh, you could have an attraction to someone or there could be like two, two mutual attraction in love to someone else and some type of commitment, uh, or partnership or family or, you know, a situation where this, um, community or work or things like that going on. Um, I don't know. These cards are just, whew. But here you are, you know, indifferent to, in love, indifferent to uh, offers that you may be getting for some reason. Some of you may have your eye on someone and, and um, or you're dealing with someone who had that energy that I was telling you about here. And you could be, and, and so this isn't necessarily an offer from that person. This is offers from others. Right? So if you're a male, go these women <laughs> serving you, right? Or trying to be uh, serviceable to you. And you're just, I love his face. He's just like, I don't want any of your emotional potluck roast beef. I am just not interested. This is a card of indifference and apathy when it comes to emotions. Now, either you are indifferent to other offers that are coming in for you, or you are indifferent to love in general. Okay. Now, why would you be indifferent to love in general? If you were indifferent to love or a relationship at this time, it's because you are very focused on work. You are trying to plant seeds in your life. Um, and of course that has a lot to do with what I was talking about here, look at all these different cups, you know, all these different coins, pentacles represent tangible things. So you may very be very focused on work. You may have a lot of projects going on and you're just really, this is what, this could be emotional fulfillment for you. This is what you want. Okay. Especially if you're Aquarius, you're, um, innovative and always, uh, maybe just, cooking up new plans and things like that and things that you like to do. So that energy could be coming through for you during this time. Now, if there is someone that you're interested in, 
You may be indifferent to offers of um, emotional offers of love from others because either you are working to make something grow with someone and that's where your interest is. Okay. And um, the Seven of Pentacles is also about <clears throat> taking stock and assessing all that you've invested as well, either in a relationship or with someone new or thus far. Uh, for those of you who are super, super single and you don't have anyone else coming in, this could be someone coming in for you that you could be meeting. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily feel like there's going to be a physical meeting during this time, but there will be messages, action messages. So you, you may, you may get some type of action about, um, I just, I'm, I'm feeling like, um, I don't know. I feel like you're going to get a reward of some sort or be rewarded for something in November or you're going to receive something that's going to bring you much happiness. I've heard readers say that the Eight of Rods can represent Cupid's arrows. You know, um, but it's really just about uh, you're going to be receiving some type of recognition for something. Um, it's crazy. I want to clarify that. I haven't done any clarifications. I'm just going to pull one card randomly out of my deck here to see what it could be. Uh. Uh. <sighs> That's so crazy. <laughs> so some of you again now you've got the queen of rods so again an, a fire sign male or female leo sagittarius or aries you're going to be hearing something from this person and again even if it's not a fire sign it's someone that has that energy that i explained to you in the beginning of the reading and if you're not if you can't remember just pause it and go back you'll recognize this person so um yeah, I feel like this is some, I, it's not really, so it, it, it may be a message of love or it may be some type of a message about uh, some action message. There's, there's love coming to you, okay, something that maybe you've invested in with someone. Um, or, as I said, if you're not interested in a relationship at this time and not taking offers from others because you're focused on work, there could be someone that you are involved with, uh, like uh, strictly pl in a platonic way, that could actually express emotion to you of some sort that will make you feel good. It, it, I don't know. I feel like some of you may be waiting because this card, you know, is, you know, some of you may have been in waiting to hear something, very few of you, but it's going to be truth. There's truth going to come out with the Ace of Swords. This is a. Uh, you know, overcoming um, difficulties there that may have been in the past. This is getting to the truth of the matter. So there could be something changing in your love life during November where you will get some clarity about something. Okay. Um, and, you know, if you are not looking for a relationship or you're not looking to get involved emotionally with someone, I feel like you may be taken by surprise by some another person. Um, and and you, you may tell them, hey, I'm not interested in a relationship, but I really, really, really do like you. It could go that way. Or this person could just give you some truth and say, hey, oh my gosh, you're perfect. That could happen. <laughs> and that could make you feel really great. And you should, because you are great. <laughs> you know, so it really could just go a lot of different ways. Like I said, I'm getting a few different messages. Um, 
you know, I'm tempted to see what this truth is going to be, but I'm not going to because I want you to let the energies play out during November. And all this yellow is a message for you that you've got the sun here, you've got the sun back in here, you have the sun here, you have the sun here. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a Leo, okay, or there's Leo energy somewhere, but it's all positive. So I don't really feel I need to clarify this. I really feel like the truth is going to come out and it's going to be very good for you, very positive for you. Okay, Aquarius. So do leave me comments and let me know if this resonates for you or if uh, as the month goes by, let me know if this is happening for you. And if you're... If, if something like this is happening for you or you're like, oh my gosh, yes send me a message and we'll do a reading for you so we could see what really is going on and how much deeper this is going to be for you and what's going to happen okay i just feel like some truth's coming out i don't really feel like you know i mean <laughs> just all this love so aquarius if you're not looking for love you're getting it <laughs> in november Okay, I'm going to end your reading. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. All right, take care.